Dispersal is essential for species survival and landscape genetic studies are valuable tools for identifying potential barriers to dispersal. The Amazon Basin is a highly diverse and globally important ecosystem, which is facing threats in the form of rapid changes such as continual development of highways and gold mining. We've been studying macaws for decades in the Peruvian Amazon, gaining insights into their breeding biology, natural diet, ecology, parasitology, and population dynamics. All of these can play important parts in their conservation. Macaws have been studying the Peruvian rainforest for several decades, uh, revealing lots about their biology, but we know very little about their genetics and even less about their dispersal. I went to southeastern Peru to study the population genetics of scarlet macaws in a huge area of continuous primary rainforest. Over several years, we collected hundreds of feather samples from these birds from different landscapes, and after extracting their DNA, we reconstructed the genetic structure of the population. We collected remote sensing data with the Carnegie Airborne Observatory using our high-resolution laser scanning system called a LIDAR. Later, we took the LiDAR data and processed it to give us a three-dimensional structure of the Amazon forest canopy. This gave us tree height, and then we further processed it with satellite data, mainly radar and optical data, to estimate the above-ground carbon density of the forest. We also used our maps to develop uh, information on the elevation uh, of the ground, as well as the water surfaces throughout the region. Based on these high resolution maps, we constructed different models of landscape resistance between each genetic sample using circuitscape, a method that's based on the theory of electrical circuits. And then we tested for correlations between these different habitat features and the current population genetic structure of macaws to explore natural barriers to their movement across this landscape. We found that macaws were genetically very similar across the landscape that we studied, except in the inter-mountain valley called Kandamo, where they showed some important genetic differences. The landscape resistance models revealed that genetic distance between these individuals was related to elevation. This suggests that high elevation probably act as a natural barrier to scarlet macaws and hence limit their gene flow. In another study, we showed that parrot species worldwide are severely affected by the problems caused by growing human populations. This study is very important because it gives us important baseline data uh, that tells us how the birds respond to natural barriers in their natural habitat, and that will help us understand much better the impacts of growing human populations in the Amazon basin.